Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for November the 1st through to the 15th. It is a general reading so it may or may not resonate and I always say just take what feels right and leave the rest. Now we are in beautiful Scorpio season, very deep spiritual and emotional energy. Oh, the sun has come out for you as your first card, Gemini. And there is a new moon in Scorpio as well coming up on the 15th. So we'll see what energy is coming up for you in this time. Gosh, and there are a lot of things, big things happening worldwide as well. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening for you, Gemini. But... Let's get stuck into this. If you do enjoy this reading, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. There might be a little bit of um, noise in the background today. The neighbor, neighbors are having a party. It echoes through the valley and uh, the kids are in the pool. So it's kind of, yeah, the weather's hotting up here in Australia. And gosh, okay, what's happening for you, Gemini? Ten of Wands. The lovers, there you are. You're turning up in the reading, the Emperor. And the Page of Swords, okay. All right, and at the base of the issue, we have the Ten of Cups coming in. So <clears throat> we're looking at your happiness here. So let's pull an animal spirit energy here. Let's pull an animal spirit energy coming in for Gemini. What animal spirit energy do we have for Gemini? Oh, we have starfish. And again, this is interesting because a starfish is all about your happiness, uh, but on a deep emotional level, and we are in Scorpio season, so that seems to resonate. Okay, so let's start the reading with an intuitive message from the fairies and see what information we can get coming through for you, Gemini. Okay, we have all oh, the fairy godmother, the singer of healing and the oak men. Wow, okay. Okay, well, just looking at the cards that are around, I do feel like that singer of healing is coming through really, really strongly. There is something in your life that is receiving healing or there's an opportunity for something to heal, the big healing coming through for you. And this fairy godmother, you know, you might just need a little bit of help with this. <laughs> so she kind of comes in and sprinkles some magic and sorts some things out for you. And, you know, just when you think that everything's going to go pear-shaped and everything's going down the wrong path, suddenly she might come in and fix something for you and then suddenly everything's so much better. These can be little happy surprises coming in as well, little like um, gifts and surprises. Uh, so it's just like a little bit of magic around you, someone helping and guiding you and helping with this healing process. We do have the oak men, so it does feel like it could be related to a very deep down sadness as well, something very old, something very ancient, something that uh, really might have, uh, this could be past life energy as well, but it could have really rocked you to your core for some of you as well. I'm kind of getting those words. So this is an opportunity to actually go back a long, 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 long way to something that has been inside there, inside you, that whether you've been engaging with it or not, and it's now got this beautiful opportunity to revisit it, which can bring up some emotions and feelings, but there's also a lovely opportunity for healing and the fact you've got all this beautiful support. It's like you've got um, like you've got your fairy godmother around. And if you need any help, just ask for it because there are spirit guides around coming through for you. They want you to know that you're loved and supported. So we do have uh, the sun crossed by the king of wands. So this is a time for a potential breakthrough for you, Gemini. But it is one of those breakthroughs that is going to require a little bit of going deep, like we said, going back to an ancient, uh, connect, it, going back to an ancient wound, but also connecting you to that ancient energy of yourself, your source energy. So this is potentially a, I'm, I keep they keep telling me once in a lifetime kind of energy. So. 
I know some of us are like, oh, we don't want to hear that it's all about healing and I don't want to go there and that sounds boring. Oh, tell me I'm all these good things are happening, happening. This is actually a really good thing. To be released and freed from this is actually really good and it's going to bring all this happiness here. So you're going to be able to actually do what it is that you want, feel like you are in control of your life feel like you can actually attain what it is that you want and so yeah I do feel like there is the opportunity here for a major breakthrough coming through for you Gemini so yeah and I do feel like it's related to something from your childhood or even older than that so we have the six of pentacles in your conscious mind and this could be uh wanting it's interesting because this, when the six of pentacles comes in this is like the energy of just getting random gifts of money and we do have that fairy godmother energy around you as well so this might be one of those weird little things you know like a just winning winning raffles or winning tickets you've got the winning ticket for something uh you might just be gifted something someone might come in and uh yeah you it's kind of out of the blue a gift there's no strings attached this could be inheritance but yeah it's like uh, money coming to you so this is kind of on your mind you know maybe you are needing a little bit of extra money or maybe you're wanting more money for something and the fairy godmother is just there to kind of sprinkle some fairy dust around this is also the card of giving and receiving being open to receive so it's all very well to say yeah I want I just need a little bit of extra just to buy that car that I want or just to pay that bill that I need to or just to buy that dress that I want to or just to whatever it is, go out for a nice dinner or whatever it is that you want to be doing. Uh, you just It's like you need just a little bit extra for a treat and that's the kind of energy what uh, that is kind of coming to you uh, that's on offer here. But, yeah, they are saying that you need to open to receive. And that's kind of a bit of a theme with this reading is there's all these great things here, but the universe is saying we're here to help you, support you. We've got fairy godmother on your side, but you still need to be doing the work here. We can't do it all for you. So <clears throat> we have at the base the nine of swords. And, you know, there's something... Uh, that deep down, this is a subconscious block that's come up here that, or a fear, a fear block as well that's come up that has kept you very, very stuck. It does feel like it's actually related to that thing, that old energy that is being healed, and that energy feels like it's related to your heart energy. But this energy feels like it's uh, down more in your sacral or root chakra like your base chakra so there's a fear but it's to do with your connection and relationships to other people as well but yes this is coming up and when this comes up oh it's it's just there that we'll have to scratch below the surface to see what else is underneath because whenever there's a fear block or and it's coming up to be looked at by the universe and to be cleared and it's connected to a very ancient block uh, this could be karmic stuff as well for you. It's coming in here, Gemini. But there's always something on a higher spiritual level that's coming in, a reason for it. And so we'll have a look at that in the extended reading. But this is just coming up. This is something that has probably been really stressing you, worrying you, causing some deep down anxiety for a long time. And whether you're aware of that or not, because sometimes we can really live with uh, anxiety and even low levels of anxiety and just you get used to it and you might not be realizing you have it so it's actually good if this is coming up you might be getting some having some dreams you might be getting you know the nine of swords is overthinking it can trigger a stress response but it's actually saying that if that happens that that's this coming up to be looked at to actually look at and disseminate and go what is it that is actually stressing me here because there will be something in your life at this moment that's stressing you but if you go back to the core of what it is what's the core value of it for example I'm stressed I can't pay that bill that's coming in I just got this massive car bill because my car's broken down whatever it is and then you go, what is it that actually is at the root of that? And at the root of that is a survival fear of not having enough or, you know, 
not being supported, not feeling like you're being supported, whatever it is for you. So it's kind of going, looking at what's right at the bottom, deep down of that. In the recent past, we have the Four of Swords. So this is a period of time where there was recovery. It was a recovery period for you. Uh, this could have been taking some time out to really understand the story and there might have been a shift in your mindset in understanding what the story was being told, what the story you were telling yourself or what story had been told to you. Uh, this can be, you know, spending some time by yourself, resting, recovering from illness. But this period of time, the universe wanted you to be a little bit still in this space. So you've con gone from this space where you were still and able to actually connect and open up a dialogue with that uh, ancient um, wound that's come up here. And that's allowed you, you know, something, there might have been something in your life that has just shifted an opinion, an understanding of something that has kind of started allowing this to shift in your life deep down. So it started, the wheels have started turning. Now, in the near future, we have the, ten, the Eight of Swords. So there's uh, this sense of, with this Eight of Swords, there's this sense of you're not going to see what's coming. You won't be able to see what's coming. You're kind of got the blinders on. You're not wanting, maybe you're not wanting to see it. This is limiting your vision of what it is that is coming in or coming to you because it's like it's almost could be quite too hard to look at sometimes. You know, it's not an easy energy to be dealing with. But, you know, this energy can, you can feel stuck with this energy. It can feel like you're not moving forward. So, but I do get the sense that um, you're not, there's something you're not seeing or not wanting to see or not going to see. But it it might be an avoidance of wanting to look at the issue very directly. It might also be that fairy godmother has got um, surprises in store for you that doesn't want you to know. So there's, you know, a variety of things that could be happening here. In the you're presenting as the Ten of Wands, and I think you know this is something it has been such a burden, and you know that this is. I think that you're ready to just let go of this. You're at the end of your tether with this, whatever this is, and however it's manifested in your life, it's manifested as a burden. So whether it is, um, you know, a big emotional burden that you're carrying around that you feel like you haven't been able to share, or you're feeling over responsible, or that you are you know, feeling guilty for something. It can be you're working too hard. It can be you're exhausted. It can be all these sort of um, energies where you're just kind of at the end of it and it's like you're really being um, almost tested here, Gemini. It's kind of the universe is putting the squeeze on, going, I'm going to make this potentially as uncomfortable as as it can be if you don't look at this and if you don't spend some time with this. So, yeah, it's actually um, I think that you're ready. You'll get to the point where you go, oh, I honestly can't be carrying this around, <clears throat> sorry, carrying this around anymore. So, yeah, I think that you know that you need to release this because your happiness is on the line here. So we have, you know, in the environment, this energy surrounding you, we have the lover's card, which is your card in the in the tarot, Gemini, which I'm sure a lot of you already know. And it is saying you do have a choice here. You do have a choice. And it does feel very connected to love. It does feel connected to a particularly significant partnership. It can definitely feel, it definitely feels connected to a romantic soulmate energy, whether that person is in your life or not. It's related to your relationship of the idea of that, how you go into that kind of relationship, uh, you know, what you're looking for, what um, belief systems you bring into it. So, yeah, I do feel like there, again, with this with this lover's card, that there is uh, support around you at this moment, Gemini. So this could actually be, could be that a significant other or a very close person to you that is actually there for you, which is going to be really positive. I do feel like there's a little bit of the, this fairy godmother still hanging around. So I think that that's all very um, exciting. So hopes and fears, we have the emperor. And 
you know, this is the card of power and success. So, you know, I think you're wanting, you know, everybody probably does want to step into their authority, their power, their success on some level. It doesn't mean you have to be, you know, Bill Gates. It can be that you're just feeling yourself. You're feeling good about yourself. So uh, I think the emperor is very much kind of wanting to also see some sort of concrete reality here to actually see some sort of concrete result with this. So, yeah, I think that it's like, um, you know, it's all very fine to be saying, yeah, you've got to go deep and that's airy-fairy, but I want to see exactly what it is. I want to see concrete results. So it could be also related to a father figure. We could be this um, could be going back to relationship to power, to powerful person, to a male lineage. So it's got all of that kind of connection to it that is being healed. And so in the as an outcome or potential outcome, everything's a potential here, uh, we have the Page of Swords and it's very much get more information, waiting for news, learning more skills here. So there's more coming to you around this. And like I said, you are being very, very supported by the universe. So there is more, uh, keep your ears and your eyes out, be open and curious uh, about this because I do feel like this more information is going to help you move forward through this. And so we have as like as a animal spirit energy, we have starfish. And starfish is, you know, all about looking, feeling good, that feeling happy and contented, but deep down, not just on a surface level, you know, you like to shine but you're shining within your emotional realms. And so there is something that there is hope that is being restored here to an area of darkness in your life. And it's actually really beautiful. When the starfish comes in to shine, it brings this beautiful healing energy with it as well, which is what a lot of this reading is about. And the whole kind of... um, point of this really what the universe is saying is they want you to be at your peak of happiness here with the ten of cups they want you to have your rainbow of happiness your ability to be as happy as you can be and so it might be like oh I'm pretty happy already you know Um, I don't know why I need to be doing this work and the universe is saying there's always more joy and happiness to be had in the world and there are always things that are from that we're carrying around, even from past lives or from the past, no matter, depending on how you experience or believe what you believe. And so it's really just wanting you to reach, um, be able to reach that peak happiness, to really experience that. And so that's kind of what this whole reading is about at this moment in time. So we're going to go over to the deep read now. Gemini and I'm going to look at this in more detail pull out some more more cards get some more information some more spirit messages for you and take a sneak peek at look in the future Uh, because I do feel like there's uh, so much more to find out about this we really feel like we're uh, almost feel like we're still a little bit in the dark other than there's some very transformational healing energy here for you about a very old wound and that there are going to be some little magical surprises coming in for you which could be related to money or some kind of financial support so yeah it's an interesting energy but yeah it's time to let go of that burden time to bring in and step into your happiness and that's what you're being deeply encouraged to do here Gemini so thank you so much for joining me if you would I'd love it if you come over to the deep read the link is in the description box below and just click on that. I'll take you over to Vimeo and click on Gemini. Uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other and this helped and resonated, thank you so much for joining me. And please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Bye, Gemini. <laughs>